Welcome back to me today, guys. It's time for another light novel review. This is going to be on uh, Black Sumner Volume 2, um, which is brought to you by uh, J Novel Club. It is um, well, it's, it's, it's its own company that re been releasing light novels since mm, late 2010s, I want to say. Uh, like in the 2013, uh, 14 they started doing a lot of online stuff. I personally did some of their reviews. Um, not a lot, but I did some. Uh, but now they're doing physical copies under Yen Press. So uh, great, they're a great company. They're releasing a lot of them. Um, some of these are stuff that have already been released through their um, online versions. They're just now re-releasing them physically. Uh, and some of them are just brand new series. So check them out, J Novel Club great company um it is the company so you can buy it in different ways i do have a link in the description below that you guys can use to buy uh so yeah okay black summoner specifically the false champions um it, you know it always like throws me off whenever they put uh, you know the, the main girl or it's supposed to be the main girl in the front and she really isn't end up being the main one um, that's Sarah. We have uh, Ifo and Kelvin, which are the other uh, three main main characters of the story. She is important at the at the beginning. Um, we're ending her story with you know, um, in in the first volume where we saw his her whole demon protector die. So. Anyways, before anything else, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. You guys can follow me on social media and other places by checking the description below. I do appreciate all the love and support. So yeah, if you haven't done so, please do subscribe because a lot of people are watching but not subscribing. So make sure you are subscribing and I, I do appreciate the, the support. So, um, okay. So yeah, um, if you've seen the anime... Um, I think it's towards the end. It's it's been a while since I've seen the anime, um, but it it is uh, it does start off right after she uh, basically joins the group, which is why she's in the cover. Um, she herself has many dreams and goals in her life uh, that she had promised herself and and uh, the demon that she was being raised with um, because she really wanted to live her life, right? She, at all points, was basically um, in, in this little bubble because she was a demon king. People couldn't find out. If they did, they were going to go off and kill her, so on and so forth. So she wanted to do stuff, and one of those things was to see the ocean. So she she does do that, and it is, um, you know, kind of a... I don't want to say, like, a, a character development, but it is, I guess, in some ways for her. Um they go to this different city and it is a city close to the ocean which is you know it was mainly for her but the other second reason is because kelvin is looking for more japanese food and he's heard that there's a grain that's very similar to japan there in this city now there's this whole scene where like the lady that's in the city uh or one of the main ones she brings in uh chefs that actually can cook japanese dishes and he's just amazed right and um the elf girl from his group tries to get some recipes and they get some stuff to for them to have uh, grains and rice uh, and that's that's the main thing is he wants rice in his meals he is japanese so rice is a big thing i mean uh, even me as a hispanic i eat rice uh probably three four times uh wow they're so loud three or four times a week so anyways uh it's it's it is essential, I guess, to the diet of, of a Hispanic, and, and for him, a Japanese person. Obviously, it's a different type of rice, but it is, at the end of the day, same type of story, right? So, uh, it, when, within this, he finds the champions or the heroes that were supposed to actually come and kill the Demon King. They came in through the same goddess, and she kind of, like, decided that they weren't good enough, which is why he came in the picture. Uh, now, let's remember Kelvin is a little psycho in the sense of he doesn't see himself as a hero. He is more of a fighting junkie. He likes to go and complete missions, not because of the purpose of, you know, this is the right thing to do, but because he just wants to get that 
uh, adrenaline of like going and killing monsters and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bandit um, scene where they go and rescue people, and it's again they're they're not much of uh, of of a. Uh, of a fight to them um and then so they basically decide to uh hold back and pretend like they're the villains and he gets to fight the heroes and there's this whole scene about the heroes trying to protect and th in their mindset they're fighting these these bandits but the bandits happen to be stronger than they expected and they're like man how are they bandits these strong but Anyways, the four heroes are, are weak. I mean, they're like level 50, 60, even though it's been a whole year. And, and for him, for Kelvin, he surpassed that already. And he's only been there for, I think, weeks, um, maybe a couple of months living in that other world. So it just shows that he definitely is at a different level when it comes to battling and uh, even like knowing what to use, when to use it um when to hold back and i mean all, all these things and he himself is like coaching them as they're fighting and they're like why are you telling us what to do and eventually when they lose and they awaken from their knockouts uh they realize that he actually is not a villain and that yeah he essentially was trying to help them out train them kind of let them see their flaws and why they can be defeated so easily and probably would not uh, you know, had would have a chance in front of a demon king. So yeah, there's all different other fight that I won't mention. Uh, but it keeps on going. Uh, I do know that the, at the end there is two side um side missions or side chapters. I think each one's about three pages long. Not not a huge deal. I have not read those yet. Uh, the side stories are Knights of Alcohol and the End of a Dream. So um, don't really know exactly who they're based on. But maybe her dream? I don't know. I, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, there there is two other chapters. There are side stories that I'm not going to mention because I haven't read it myself. Uh, but they're side stories. They're very small. They're about three, four pages each. So um, I, I could have read them, but I just, you know, I, I want to do this video as fast as possible. So um, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think on this series. Uh, it is a pretty good series. You can, you can watch the series. I believe it is dubbed as well. I reacted it subbed, so um, not really sure if it is dubbed, but I think this one was one of those that eventually came out as dub and on Crunchyroll. So you guys can watch it on Crunchyroll. You can watch my reactions here. You can watch Volume One uh, review here as well, as well as Volume One and Two manga reviews here as well. So Black Summoner is everywhere in my channel now, I guess. So go check them out. I do appreciate it for the love and support, guys. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.